All right, y'all, jumping into some more football today. I'll tell you what, we've seen quite a few bits of content by now, and we're just scratching the surface. I can tell this is quite a sport with just infinite highlights from various different players, teams, regions, countries, you name it. Um, it it's pretty mind-blowing. <clears throat> it's also a lot to take in. So uh, I have awesome suggestions to look at some individual player highlights, which we haven't done yet. So we're going to start out with one of the most requested ones. This one, I believe it's uh, Ronaldinho. We are going to be looking at clips uh, from a, you know various different sources here. They'll all be linked down below so you can watch those whole things. And of course, check out those channels. Let's just jump straight into it. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I think I'm going to like this right away. There, is, there he is. Holding a beautiful gold trophy. So it must have been pretty successful. <laughs> Love the energy. Yeah, I'm going to be excited because right away it opens up with like crazy, I don't know what you call that, footwork or handles. Uh, ball handling, I guess. Ball handling skills would be a good universal term. Yeah, that's like kind of what I'm gravitating towards with the sport. I think the obvious would be, oh, look at goals. You know, let's look at a bunch of goals, right? Well, I think, I think kind of like really interesting passes or assists, you could call it. Uh, of course, saves by the goalie. I think those are int extra interesting. So I want to be able to look more into those. Uh, but just ball handling. Ball handling is so satisfying in a lot of different sports, especially football, because I have no experience with the sport other than playing in the backyard here and there, like literally a handful of times ever. And, uh, of course, I suck at it because I have no experience with it. And I know handling a soccer ball is, like, really weird to me. It's it's very difficult. Damn, he's pretty fast, too. Wow. He laser kicked that in. No chance of blocking that. <laughs> Look at that ball handling. Damn, dude. Oh. No look pass. Look, he fake. he's faking everyone out. I think he... This guy's probably faked the cameraman out before. Oh, this guy, this guy is freaking smooth. With, with insane accuracy. He's doing no look, fake look passes, psyching the defender out, passing it behind his back, look another way. And it's going right to where he wants it, right to his teammate. What on earth am I watching? That's insane. How do you defend against it? Jeez, dude, that's what's standing out to me. Oh my god, man. I think I'll state the obvious. Even as someone that is just learning about the sport, right? Um, I don't even know what it's like to play the sport on a high level. Of course not. I don't even know what it's like to play on a casual level. But I do know just about, you know, sports in general, about what it's like to play other sports, physics, right? These things, you know, these are a lot harder than they look. This guy's making it look easy to handle like this and speed and juke people out. And he's kicking it from far distances high up. It's going into the goal right below that, you know, upper crossbar. I mean, that's got to be freaking hard, dude. 
My God. Look at this. <laughs> Look at how high. Do you see what I'm saying? He's kicking it just above where the goalie can reach and just below that crossbar. It's insane, man. His shots are impressive and they're fast. But like I said, I think I'm more intrigued by the handling, the speed, and the, and the footwork. How do you teach that? And what an adrenaline rush. Honestly, compared to a lot of sports, there are definitely, in most sports, you know, obviously sports I'd be more familiar with, in American football, baseball, basketball, even, you know, golf or whatever, like, of course there's moments in sports that you can have if you accomplish something really good, usually related to scoring, where you get an adrenaline rush and it's just exciting, right? But I'm honestly thinking the excitement might be hard to match when it comes to soccer or, or football, proper football, <laughs> we'll say. Uh, like seeing the energy in the team when they score, when they go on this long run and juking defenders and going left and right and kicking that ball in and the goalie tries to jump and get it and he misses, like that must be such a freaking rush, dude. Look at that. Like, you kick that, it's supposed to goes in. That's got to be exciting as hell. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the spin on that freaking ball. And the whole stadium erupts. Jeez, I, I'm feeling that shit through a screen. My God, man. Those are called free kicks, right? Or something? Penalty kicks? This guy must be the master of that. Look at this. Holy shit, dude. That guy's insane. <laughs> this ball handling is outrageous. Look at the control, man. He even like balances it. You can balance it on your chest if as long as you don't touch it with your hands, right? So it can hit your chest. It can hit your back. How do shoulders play a part? Like the ball hits you here, right? I mean, that's kind of part of my arm, but it's not. I mean, it's connected to your body though. Like right here might be okay, but if it hits here or hits here, that would be bad, right? Because I'm still learning here. Obviously, you can't pick up the ball. That's like the most obvious everyone knows. Unless there's certain plays where you throw it in. I know that. But yeah, I mean, considering he's using his whole body of whatever you can use, uh, of course, your head too. Um, yeah, he just has this I I immense like magnetism to the ball. It's like, I don't know how he handles the ball like that. It's freaking awesome. Short highlights. Look at this guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my God. How does he do that stuff? He like single handedly picks apart defenders. That was a nice. So he's, I'm sure he's had an amazing assist as well. He creates these crazy gaps in the defense and can find a teammate and they can have an easy goal or an uncontested, you know, shot at least. Damn, he hit some far goals, man. Wow. Okay, to close out the video, I just want to look at a couple stats or, or like just information. So he was um he was known as Ronaldinho. That's obviously as like a full regular name. Uh, he is Brazilian. Very cool. Okay. He won two FIFA Player of the World Player of the Year awards, rather. He is the only player ever to have won a World Cup, a Copa America, a Confederations Cup, a Champions League, a Copa uh, Libertadores, and a Ballon d'Or. I probably said those wrong. I'm sorry. Global icon of the sport. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, this is what I like. He was known for his technical skills, creativity, dribbling ability, and accuracy from free kicks. His use of tricks, feints, no-look passes, and overhead kicks, as well as his ability to score and create goals, all prominent characteristics of his early age background playing futsal. Football-based game on a hardcore, like, what? Well, wow, that's interesting. So many sports I don't even know about. Uh, but yeah, that's what stands out to me, right? The guy's got a signature smile, too. Um, looks like he really had an awesome vibe, like really enjoyed the game, high energy, fast as hell, 
you know, scored or made a great pass, whatever, you know, big smile on his face. The guy looks like he's a vibe, man, like really, really fun. Yeah, like he'd be an awesome teammate, right? <laughs> uh, he was active from the late 90s until about 2015, so he must be retired now. But, uh, see, I didn't know. I would have assumed he was present because I don't know anything about the sport. So I'm assuming we're going to learn, you know, I'm going to learn about past and present players. Um, you'll have to tell me in the comments your favorite memories and, and you know, stats or something about uh, Ronaldinho. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. I'm assuming it's Ronaldinho or Ronaldino, something like that. But yeah, really, really fun highlights. And I'm sure that just scratches the surface. I'm sure there's way more that you could dig up on this guy. I mean, holy smokes, that ball control is just unreal, dude. I also wanted to mention, I think it's kind of funny when you look at endorsements. Of course, one of his big endorsements was with EA Sports in the FIFA video game series. Now, of course, I'm someone that just, like I said, never grew up or playing or, or watching soccer or, or football really at all. But of course, being into video games, right, all my life, like most people, especially like sports video games back in the day, like Madden, NFL football, you know, the basketball games, of course, tons of baseball games. I always saw in the store, you know, like the games in the selection. Of course, I saw FIFA football games. I just never played them. Uh, but he was on the cover of like tons of them. FIFA 2004, FIFA Street, which I do remember they made I because I played NFL Street and I thought that was the coolest game ever. And I remember seeing that they made a FIFA Street and I always wondered how that was. I, I bet it was pretty fun. FIFA 06, FIFA 07, FIFA Street 3, FIFA 08, and FIFA 09. This guy was on so many game covers. Like, if we click on one of them, you can see him right there. Uh, if we click on another one, FIFA Street, there he is, right? Uh, FIFA 06, there he is again. So, I, I didn't say it in the video because I, I didn't know where I knew it because I, I don't watch football, or I, of course, didn't back then either. But I recognized him, and that's where I recognize him from. It's got to be, is these video games, just seeing him on the cover. So I was like, oh, it makes sense. That's why I recognize this guy. <laughs> um, something really interesting is YouTube started back in, I think, 2005, which is hard to think about. It's coming up on 20 years. It's pretty mind-blowing. He was in the video, or I should say he was in the first video to hit a million views. That's a big achievement. Um, million views happens a lot nowadays, right? There's so many viral videos nowadays. But back then, 2005, that's hard to conceive, a video having a million views. Because, you know, no one even barely knew what YouTube was in 2005. Uh, while he was in it, it was like a Nike advertisement. And he juggled the ball around and volleyed it against a crossbar of a goal, recovered it without the ball touching the ground or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably hard to describe in text, but... Yeah, he was in the first video that got a million views. I think that's really cool. Okay, so I found the old ad, by the way. He, like, gets his gold briefcase, has some awesome new shoes or cleats. I don't know what you would call them. They look uh, pretty pretty dope. They're, like, white and gold or something. This is from 2005. That's hard to believe. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. See, this blows my freaking mind, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he's moving around. He's not sitting still. He's walking. Just casually walking with a ball levitating in front of me, you know? <laughs> Dude, how does someone have that much control over a ball without using their hands? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm speechless. What what the f do I even say about that?
<sighs> that might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. Alrighty, well, on that note. <laughs> Damn, I cannot wait to see your comments, your suggestions, all that great stuff. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. This guy's good. Wow. <laughs> My name is Ian. Do you watch Night Never Rocker? Until next time, y'all. I'll catch you later.